Hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in into Lifestyle Infinite. Welcome to another DIY video. First, let me ask you a simple question. Can you see sound? Just kidding. Today we are going to build a stereo view meter. So, what is a view meter? And what does stereo or mono means in terms of a view meter? VU meter is an acronym for volume unit meter. A view meter displays the amplitude level of the signal. In simpler terms, louder the sound, higher the value. We are making a stereo VU meter. Hence, there are two display channels for both left and right audio input. Without further ado, let's get the build rolling. We would be using a couple of 3.5mm stereo female audio connectors for the input. These connectors are not at all bedboard friendly, so I decided to solder them on a curve board in parallel. I have also added 3 female jumpers for debugging or probing the input channels, left, right and ground. For the brains of the circuit, I am using a good old Arduino. Arduino Uno to be precise. The VU meter will be displayed by the number of LEDs lighting up. As we have two channels, we would be using two sets of six LEDs or six LEDs per channel. To be on the safer side, I will be adding 100 ohm current limiting resistors to the anodes of the LEDs. And for simplicity, all the cathodes will be shorted together to have a common ground. Let's start with the mono or one channel. All the links to the schematics and codes will be in the description. Use an analog pin as an input for capturing audio signal level. And use six of the digital pins as output for the LEDs. The levels look appealing now. Now let's do the same for both the channels. Now you have two choices, shrink it or make it large. I would rather like to make it smaller, Arduino Nano seems to be a good fit for the task. Let's transfer the entire project to a curve board. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. 
I'll be using a set of female jumpers to make the socket for the microcontroller so that if I need a microcontroller in a hurry I can just rip open this and reprogram it without desoldering anything With this much messy wiring and poor soldering, using it without a case would be like handling a child before it's born. So again, I had to make a case. I had a few scraps of transparent acrylic left from my previous projects. Unleashed my unmatched craftsmanship again. Grabbed a cheap drill machine and a couple of bus saw bits and the rest is history. Use proper tools or ask a professional to do it for you. Or if you are experiencing Call of the Void like me, I have shared the link to my previous project in the description where I have explained what tools I used to make it happen. One acrylic dust shower later, here is the case. Don't mind the scratches. These are scrap acrylic after all. Remember, recycle plastics to save the world and most importantly save a buck to give up after putting all the ingredients together let's check if it still works Looks like it is still working without a hitch. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. Subscribe and share if you like my content or got to know something useful out of it. More DIY projects are on the way. 
Let me know what would you like me to build in the near future. See you around.